Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, still looking at the very changeable weather over the next five days. We're cold now, warms up over the weekend, turns colder early next week with a chance for some snow. So we'll sort through everything right now. First head outside where skies remain clear, dry and chilly. These are live pictures from Narragansett. Looking out over the water towards uh, Newport, it's pretty good. Temperatures have dropped through the low and mid 20s, 25 in North Kingstown. Some locations a little colder right now and some areas will head down to 13, 14 degrees overnight. In fact, Smithfield now is down to 23 and really plenty of nighttime to go through for these temperatures to drop off. So very cold weather now through tomorrow morning, a milder weekend, milder meaning upper 40s to near 50. Your nights are in the 20s and 30s. We don't have any storms this weekend, though some showers. Uh, I've adjusted the timing on this a little bit. This looks like a late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. And at this point, uh, Sunday doesn't look like a washout. In fact, by the afternoon hours, things should actually dry out with uh, a little little bit of sunshine. Skies are clear across New England. Really, the eastern half of the country uh, is fairly quiet. That's why we'll keep things dry through at least now through Saturday afternoon before we start to track some moisture in here for early on Sunday morning. So the core of the cold, and it's not that big, right over New England, out across the southern plains, milder air, and that's headed our way for the weekend, and then it turns colder early next week. Let's walk you through it hour by hour on Futurecast. Find the location that you're interested in, and then watch the time bar right up in here. Skies are clear overnight as these temperatures head down into the teens, so very cold at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Sunshine gets to work, and we should recover to the uh, lower and middle 30s by around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Heading out tomorrow evening, your Friday night looks fine, but cold again, maybe not as cold as tonight, but by 11 o'clock Friday night, it's in the middle 20s. So for tomorrow morning, sun up still around the 7 o'clock hour, 7.04, starting off in the teens, uh, heading up to about 30, 35 during the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, dry and comfortable day. Really not too bad for a uh, late January, almost February. All right, seven day future cast. Here's the deal with the weekend. Notice the warm up both a Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is a decent day, at least the daylight hours, upper 40s to near 50. I think any rain showers on Saturday would be Saturday night. And early on Sunday morning, I don't want to give the impression that this is a washout or a storm. It's not, but some early morning showers on Sunday, mild and drier during the afternoon. If the sun comes out early enough in the afternoon, we could make a run at 50. Then it turns colder on Monday and Tuesday. And this is somewhat interesting. This is a time period that I would watch somewhat closely here. Uh, there'll be a storm system offshore uh, on Monday. And so we're going to have to watch this Monday to Tuesday to see whether or not we get some snow thrown back in here on both of those days. So uh, stay tuned. We could get grazed with a little bit of snow as uh, temperatures uh, start to turn colder then. And then things drying out later Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday with afternoon temperatures in the 30s. We're fairly quiet through even Sunday. Again, just, just a morning shower, then drying out in the afternoon. For snow lovers, uh, something to watch uh, come Monday and Tuesday. I don't think it's a real big deal, but uh, snow nonetheless. You can get an updated forecast tomorrow morning with meteorologist Michelle Muscatello and the rest of the morning crew starting bright and early at 4.30 a.m. Got to go to snow country, I guess, to go skiing, right? Well, even locally, I saw some webcams from Yagu. Of course, they're still open. Wachusett's doing well, but northern New England, a spectacular year. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Tony.